So two weeks ago, we saw the first three of the eight chi absorption postures. And I'm going to go through those three again and add on the next two. Um, but we'll just go through them and then you get to see what the next posture is and I'll talk about it a little bit. So just to review, this is the first posture, which is sort of standing at hip width apart and then letting the arms sort of hang down and then even with a the breath they come up letting the elbows drop the fingers open and the palms and fingers relatively related The gaze is soft. In the next posture, dragon, gaze is back, toe is into the corner, and it's as if a spiraling movement going around. My weight is a little forward on the other side. Step back to right tiger. Weight is 60 and 40. The eyes are very open on this posture. Sort of intense gaze. The next posture we're going to go on is holding up the sky. So I'm going to turn to the side so you can see that there's a little movement actually coming up even from the, the feet, to the knees, to the hips, to the waist, lengthening through the chest, and then up. So I'm related to the earth, and at the same time, there's a lengthening up into the arms, into the fingers, And looking up at the sky. Again, holding up the sky. And the arms cross, and then I touch the earth, so it's the opposite movement going down into the earth. And I can actually touch the ground, touch the earth, and letting the head drop. So I'm going to turn sideways so you can see. And from here, I actually let my knees bend and roll up. So 
So these are the next two movements, which are very related, holding up the sky. and then touching the earth. Rolling up. So next week, we'll continue on and add in the sixth posture. So we have two more to go.